Do you think it's going to go well with the Jews in the United States or anywhere else in the world? When they're trying to pass even Sharia law in the United States? I mean, come on, wake up! You know, people need to wake up what's going on. My brothers in Israel, you need to wake up! Good evening, friends, and uh, welcome to Israel Live, our evening news broadcast. And like I said, we're trying to get used to the time frame that we're doing this. I uh, wanted to bring to your attention, this just was posted, uh, 3.16 a.m. Jerusalem time in the morning on Arut Shiva. Uh, Erekat rejects a proposal to extend the peace talks. Uh, by the way, those that may not be aware, uh, John Kerry had requested to extend the peace talks uh, beyond April due to what seems to be that they have got a framework negotiation plan set now and that it can be done. Well, Erekat, who happens to be the chief negotiator for the Palestinian Authority, has rejected that idea uh, completely. And, and I can see why it's being rejected. Biblical prophecy must be fulfilled. Let's take a look at what he has to say here. He says the Palestinian Authority P, uh, Palestinian Authority chief negotiator on Thursday rejected U.S. moves to extend the April deadline uh, for nine months of talks with Israel to culminate in a framework peace deal. There is no meaning to prolonging. The, there is no meaning to prolong the, prolonging the negotiations even for one more additional hour. If Israel, represented by its current government, continues to disregard international law, Saeed Erekat told AFP. Uh, if there was a committed partner, we wouldn't even have needed nine hours to reach that deal, he added. Uh, pretty pretty right out uh, inflammatory, his comments here. Eric was responding to comments by U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who told reporters in Washington on Wednesday that more time would be needed and that he had hoped first to agree uh, to agree a framework to guide further talks. It was Kerry who co coaxed the two sides back to the negotiating table in late July after uh, a three-year uh, hatas. Then we get into the final negotiations. I don't think anybody would worry if there is another nine months or whatever is going to be, but that's not defined yet, he said. Uh, that was John Kerry's comment as of that. Uh, so anyway, I don't see it myself going beyond what we're having now. I, unless God has different plans that, of course, I, it's not like he makes me aware of all these things in the first place, but uh, uh, but if, if for some reason in the mind of Hashem that he wants to extend this because of his purpose, then it'll be extended. Nonetheless, the nine-month negotiation would have to stand because it is a biblical prophecy of Rachel when she was having the two children in her womb and they were wrestling in there, she goes to God and says, Why am I thus? And the Lord says to her, Because there are two nations in your womb. And when they come forth, they will be separated at the womb. Now, it's Esau and Jacob. Most people would think that's the Palestinians and the Jews. It's not, though. This negotiation has nothing to do with the Palestinians. This is the Catholic Church's negotiations. They're the ones that are pulling the strings. And the Palestinian people are only a puppet to the Vatican. Once the Catholic Church has everything they want, they will force the Palestinians to accept whatever deal they deem necessary. Uh, a couple other points here in the news I'd like to bring up to you, and that was uh, the police are going to limit the access to Muslims. Men under the age of 50 years old will not be permitted this Friday during prayers, uh, where the Jews are allowed the three and a half hours to go up on the Temple Mount. Uh, there was a lot of an, uh, incitement over uh, this issue as it is, and just a lot of wrangling. You know, it, it really what we're seeing here at this final stage, this is Rachel's vision, or, or, or excuse me, Rachel's experience of the two children in her womb when they were beginning, they were really fighting. That, that last trimester, that last uh, three months is where we've been seeing all the wrangling, all the fighting going on. And of course, we've, you know, recently John Kerry uh, tries to ditch giving the Palestinians the Jordan Valley, but uh, the Palestinians are saying, no deal if you do this. 
Uh, they're trying to annex eight settlements. And uh, the, the Palestinians don't want the Jewish people having anything. And in reality, it's the Vatican that doesn't want Israel having anything whatsoever. Anyway, uh, we have some very interesting uh, interviews that we may be having coming up very soon in the near future. And uh, once we have these, well, let me say this, once they're recorded, then I'll announce it. Uh, we want to be careful of what we do announce because we have some very interesting guests that will be coming on. Uh, and that will be on our regular programming, uh, 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 possibly here on Israel Live as well. Anyway, God bless you and good night.